So the other day, someone tried to send me a dick pic, and that guy's penis was as short as Brock Turner's jail sentence. Uh. Oh. Good morning. As most of you guys know, my sister has a subscription box called Viva Crate, and we were shopping for some, I don't know, supplies, candy supplies, and we came across this. It is a kind of DIY cappuccino drink. It's vanilla flavor. I don't even want to say this because it, my Spanish sounds weird. Look at my knuckles. In the light, they're like really hairy. Anyways, this is called, my voice just cracked. That is not the name of this. This is called Puro Gusto. This was made in Mexico, at Echo in Mexico. It was specifically made in Guadalajara, Mexico. I can't really say that one. Hal, how do you say that? Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The instructions are back here, but they're in Spanish, of course. But it basically says that I need to get some milk or water, heat it up, and just pour it in. Before we add in the milk, let's just see what's... Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, look. This came with a little tiny straw, and I'm guessing this is the powder. How does the powder look? I'm curious. I'm guessing it's going to be a white powder since... Oh, it dropped. Anyways, a white powder since this is vanilla flavor. So it says I need to pour in the powder first. Wait, I want to smell it first. Okay. Smells like... I don't know. It has a coffee smell, of course. Ooh, it's white, just like I said. Ooh, but there's like brown bits in it. I don't know what that is. I'm not a cappuccino person, I'm not a coffee person, I'm not a tea person, I'm a water person. Here's what it looks like inside the cup. I don't know what those brown bits are. Again, I know nothing about cappuccinos. Cappuccinos? It, it recommends me to pour in 190 millimeters of um, uh, milk. <laughs> right, I forgot what I was putting in here, of milk. But I'm just going to guesstimate it. Now, I'm using almond milk since I have ulcerative colitis and that made me lactose intolerant. Oh, it's pouring, it's pouring, it's pouring. Wait, how much do I put in? Okay. I got, oh, it's on the table. Okay, there's still like a lot of powder. So I'm just going to put like a lot. Okay, I, I think that's enough. Okay, now stir, 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 stir. Okay, as I'm stirring this, I just want you guys to know that this will be in my sister's subscription box. Please join her mailing list. This will not be in one of the smaller boxes, but this will be in one of the bigger boxes. I think if I were to get a subscription box, I would love a DIY drink like this. Oh, my straw, my straw! <laughs> no! It went in! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need a spoon. I stirred for some bit and I'm actually going to wait for it to cool down until I taste it. So I'm just going to put this on. I'm going to make a PB&J sandwich and I'll be right back. Look, I got milk on the table, you guys. <laughs> it's been about four minutes and I am going to taste test this. Yes, I dropped jelly on my napkin. How sad. I'm like blowing into the little hole. That sounded wrong for some reason. Nope, nope, nope. Still too hot. <laughs> I don't like hot drinks. I should have made this cold. It has instructions on how to make it cold, but whatever. It's good. It's really good. I mean, it's a cappuccino. It doesn't taste cheap to me. I don't know what a good cappuccino is. <gasps> I just thought of an idea. Oh, Lordy, I thought of something. I thought of something. Okay. I'll be right back. Let me give this whipped cream a hand job. This is why I'm not a cappuccino or coffee person. It is just so bitter to me. So... Yeah! Party in the house! It is good, but it's just... I don't like cappuccino. It's really good for a cappuccino, but for me, it's like I'm not a fan because 
it's it's not because it's bad it's just i really hate coffee and cappuccinos i start college next semester so i kind of decided to start homeschooling myself again what i mean by that is that the classes that i want to take for college next semester i'm going to be studying studying those subjects for the rest of this year just so next semester i'm prepared and i know what i'm going in for so i plan to take a german class so yesterday i spent over one hour learning german here's the greetings so right now it is evening so good in abend to all my german viewers <laughs> i probably said that weird i'm still trying to get the accent in there because you know i uh, i have an american accent so some things are going to be really off right now i've been learning the greetings i mean obviously i know the greetings but like i said i'm trying to get the accent in there so then it sounds fluent and it doesn't sound like some sort of american that's trying like oh good and tog like you, you know what i'm saying yeah you guys know what i'm saying i also plan to take a business class so I do want to study some business related things throughout the fall and winter. I'm kind of homeschooled again. Since I was homeschooled since 8th grade for like what, 5 years? 4 years? Yeah, like 5 years. I know how homeschooling is so I'm, I'm back in my like school schedule and I'm trying to get back into anime. Tonight I might watch some One Piece because it's the only anime I keep up with. It's my favorite anime, but I'm trying to watch like smaller animes with like 12 episodes. Animes will always have either 12 episodes, 24 episodes, or like 9,000 episodes with like five different movies. I'm trying to get a custom URL so then you guys and other people can find my channel more easily. Of course, it's going to be Jenny Candy Kitty, but let me just show you guys that it's suggesting me my old username i used to be emo kitten 687 one <laughs> so to all my new subscribers i started this channel as emo kitten 687 one i made it up when i was 12 years old i was very emo when i was 12 or 11 no i think i was 11 when i made that name and then i changed it about two years ago back when the vlog started i know i made a vlog about it <laughs> Whoa. Ow, 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 